made a legal quickie right now. Yeah. This is standing between me and food. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. This dude just hit me up and was like, get on the microphone. Right now. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, this is something that was actually on our list of things to talk about. And I want to say you put it on the list. I did. It was a legit topic on the list. And uh, it was something I was going to get into uh, based off of a few conversations I've had. And it was actually, it was legitimately on the list. And we were going to get to it. But today. Oh, man. You know. Y'all decided to go ahead and trigger. Yeah. The, the Marcus. Yeah. So Mark, uh, Mark Lowry. <laughs> Mark Lowry. <laughs> so. So. Uh, the group stays hot. Once again, thank y'all so much. Y'all are really making me feel encouraged that this pod is going somewhere. Indeed. So today, indeed, indeed. After yesterday was red hot, oh, a bunch of scorching yeah. hot takes. Yeah. Um, somebody decides me to mm -hmm. post a uh, men go ahead and leave some relationship advice for the women and vice versa. So, woman in the in the uh, women's side decided to drop this gem on us of men. And I'm going to quote here. You are, are not required to fix me mm -hmm. or any of my problems. If I'm bitching and being bitchy, I need a fucking hug. Not to be told what to do. I'm emotional. Shit. <laughs> 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 Hold up. Stop. 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 <laughs> I'm just reading what's here. I know. I'm just reading I, know. What's here. Um, I didn't ask to be a woman. But I need to let it out. Not be told to suck it up. Or find a way to make it stop. Took my hubs. Mm. Um, I'm sorry. Hubs is funny. About <clears throat> 10 years of me telling him this. And our daughter having an epic meltdown. When I told him to hug her. And not say a goddamn thing. He did it. And it worked. She calmed down. Almost immediately. And then. Mm. And then. Said thank you. Mm -mm. He was amazed. And I was like. Duh. Now try that with me. We've been together for 20 years now. That's a beautiful, beautiful, That's beautiful love story. Beautiful, long one. Notebook-sized love story. Yeah. No, but I mean, it, it, 20 years later, the proof is in the pudding, right? Nigga, the right? pudding been old. What the fuck, pudding? Okay. I mean, I, <laughs> I feel like that is a, a beautiful testament to the fact that it worked. So I don't understand... How you, it, the proof is there, right? We, we talking about facts here. It happened, it worked. Bruh, you, nothing, nothing, in 20, nothing got in, fixed. In 20 years, you will eventually be right about something. <laughs> 20, so, so, so you, he, oh boy. What, oh wait, boy. she didn't say, she didn't say this happened after 20 years. This happened like years in, 10 years, about 10 years in. So half of it. Okay. Half, Half of, of it, he was just messing up by trying to fix stuff. By trying to talk <laughs> to you and shit. <laughs> to try and communicate. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's what <laughs> he was for ten years. He tried communication, and who who knew? All he had to do was was hug it out. Is firstly, is, firstly, <laughs> I didn't ask to be a woman. It's fucking hilarious. Well, she didn't. It's true. Who it's, asked it's, to be whatever the fuck they are? I have an answer to that, but it's insensitive. So okay, we won't do that. We won't do that. We'll <laughs> we'll wait. But yeah, but like that, like that is a cop out to. Okay, you're emotional because you're a woman, and you didn't ask to be a woman or the things that come along with it. What happened? I thought we were in. The, I thought we were in the space where women are proud to be women, strong, determined, all these things. They're, and now you're saying, proud, but. You didn't what she's saying is I'm proud to be a woman, but I didn't ask to be a woman. That's that's two different things. Two different things. But it gets deep. She didn't say she was proud female, to be a woman. She just said she, you know, she didn't ask to be one. She said she was proud to be one. It was implied. Okay. So it was, we'll, we'll another female I like pie. Another female comes in behind her and mm -hmm. says she's nine years in and is just now getting her man to realize this from time to time. And so they start to validate one another. That's right. fine. That's fine. It's cool. Um, cool, cool, cool. I made the mistake. Of telling you that this was happening on the internet. Yeah, yeah. You shot me. A, you shot me a text, and you were like, "Hey," cause because, like we said in the very beginning, this was on the list of things to talk about. So when Sam hit me, he was like, "Yo, look at this. We got to address this." No, no, no. And I said, "Don't say nothing." Well, 
that's not what you said in my mind. <laughs> that, I, I don't know how you heard another sentence that was exactly that, in, but in my head, was, don't respond. It, don't yeah. respond. I say, like, look at it. Hey, we got this. It, it's something that we can talk about. And it's, it's like it happened and we're hearing it from females because we me and you have talked about this, yes. but we never heard a female's perspective on it. So to me, this was that. And I was like, all right, cool. Now we can have a dialogue because some females are starting to explain what it means. So you was just like, why the hell would you want to listen or want somebody to listen to you forever and then not get a response back? Right now, l- ladies, this is the part where you're not going to understand men. Men are. I remember that book that was men are from 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 penis and mars women are from yeah mars and mars and venus that's what it is Mm-mm-mm. i knew it was two different uh genital planets right. so that would have made more sense though men are from penis women are from, men are venus. from penis yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the v look like a pussy and the p they should be for mercury the p, right they always talk about us in retrograde yeah, the p is like a dick and balls if you turn it like right. sideways and then that would have made more sense yeah anyway rabbit hole rabbit hole so you are like and, and this is me too i'm a and you know I have a mechanical background. Mm-hmm. So, and I think most men we're taught to, you know, make sure our woman is good, to fix the problems. You know, you're supposed to be a problem solver, you know, if that sort of thing. So, this type of logic to any man that you just present it to without him thinking about it too deep, it's not going to compute. It's just not. No, 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 no. I disagree with not. that. With him thinking about it deeply. Because that's my that's my issue with the topic. With, with women saying that, it's listen to me, love me, care about me. When I cry, I want your soul to cry. Right. But when I care and I try to, I'm not trying to fix anything. I'm trying to have a conversation with you about what you're dealing with. You don't want a response. After you've given me all this information, all this pain that you're in, whatever kind of pain you're in, light pain, dark pain, whatever the fuck it is, you're in this pain. I'm supposed to love you. I'm supposed to want like we're supposed to be like, you know, yeah. soulmates in that shit. You're going through something. So we're going through something. So we're going that, through that, something. Tr- right. Yeah. Yeah. So and see, that's the way that I, that's the way I think about it, too. But. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm trying to rational. I really am trying to wrap my mind around this this concept. Uh, a logical person is not going to get that because if I come home and I have a problem with something, unless it's just some venting about work shit that I got no control over, I'm talking to somebody because I'm wondering what I should do. Now, and this is the part where I feel like it gets a little fuzzy. Ladies, if you are going to just vent... And want us to just hug you, right? After that hug, whatever was wrong, let's say it was something that actually needed to be fixed, right? It should never be a problem again. Mm -hmm. Like ever. Because apparently all you needed was a hug, right? Yeah. Is that off base? It's not at all. Because you're saying to me, I don't want you to say nothing. I, I, want, I don't want you to say anything. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Where'd you just move your phone to? <laughs> Nowhere. I'm right here. Okay. It seemed like you moved it. All right. Go ahead. All right. You don't want me to say anything. You, you've, you've spoken to me about whatever's wrong with you for the last, let's say, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And you're sitting there in silence. And I'm sitting here in silence doing my, mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So what happened? Oh word! Oh, she's dirty. You doing all that shit, and then when that's over, I've now because I care about you, right? I care about your well being. You and me is we is us and all that shit. <laughs> so now you vented. I've given you a hug. Haven't said anything to you about whatever the fuck you're going through, and you get up and you walk off. Now I'm left there sitting with this bag. And yes, women, men do Ooh, have nope. emotions. So I'm, I can tell you right now, this is what they're going to say. You're thinking about you. I'm not thinking, thinking about, about what no, you're no, sitting. No, listen, oh, you're thinking God, about Jesus what Christ. you're sitting there with. It's not about you. I'm, t- I'm just telling you what you're going to do. How is it not? It, how is it not about me? If I can, Okay, so I can listen to you and care about you. You leave him with this bag of shit that you've dropped at my feet. <laughs> 
And what am I going to now? So now <laughs> that you left me with your bag of shit that I can't talk about. Hold the bag. And then you leave. That's literally and now, what's happening. And now I have things that I want to say because I am emotionally invested in you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that's the part that. And I know we're going to get fried for this, but I don't give like, a f- okay. There's a it's a transference of energy, okay? So So oh you oh you oh, you, home, you just going to give me your shit and then leave? That's what the, and that's what I'm saying and it's not okay. That's the part that I think bothers men in this topic is you're coming in hot with a bunch of stuff that's on your heart. You want to talk it out with us. We're there to talk it out. But you just get your half out and now we've got we've received all of the the negative that you had. We hug you. You receive the positive from us. And, you and then you dip. That. Yeah, you dip out. Now we're sitting here and we haven't been able to express how we feel about what you said. That's something that is just, uh, I think it's just a, a base. So that, no, that's, that's selfishness. That's, that's selfishness. In a woman, that's selfishness. I want to sit here. I want you to sit here and listen to me talk at you. Because it's not a conversation, right? Yeah. It's, but it starts off like it's going to be a conversation. Yes, it starts off as you actively listening. Listen to me what I'm saying to you. So you talk at me and I'm listening because I care about you and I want to find a solution that, that we can both go to bed and be in bed together peaceful with. We've talked about this shit. We had a conversation about what's wrong with you or, or whatever you're going through. Not what's wrong with you, but whatever you're dealing with, we have this conversation. So we, we talk it out. We're cool with, okay, so how you feel about this? Like, all right, so how do you feel? You feel all right? All right, great. I'm glad we had that conversation. But no, what they're saying in the post is, no, don't say shit. Just sit there yeah, and shake your there. head up and down. So that she can sleep good. Mm-hmm, me to death. Ooh, bro. You ever had a girl like go off on you about her day and then she sleep like a baby? Yeah. And I'm up. That's what they did. And, I, and I'm they up. They dumped it. <laughs> they dumped it. And I'm up and like. we just hold sitting on. there. <laughs> <laughs> we just up watching family. Yo. Go. Hey. Oh. I, and I'm, I, and I, I, I'm up like. Damn. She's sleeping like that. And her boss trying to fuck her. Like how the fuck is that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That that requires a response. That's a whole. No. No. That, that requires a drive. Bruh. Bruh. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. You got to go to the house if, if that's the case. He did this. No, it, that's no, no, no. Because it's it's them venting. I think so and so. He did this, and I just feel like they're making me feel lesser than what I am, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when, because as as men, we're not supposed to be understanding, even though a lot of men are understanding, because a lot of men go through shit also, where they're slighted. Where they where, where they're made to feel like they're lesser than men deal with that too. I know it's hard to believe, like a motherfucker. I get it. Emotional men. What? So <laughs> it's like you 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 have a conversation that's not a conversation. So you're being spoken at. So I think I think something I said in the post sounded like I'm not going to go into it because I don't feel like you know just reading something uh, word for word, but. It's, it sounds something like, so what's the point of me paying attention to what you're saying if you don't want a response? Well, I, I, and I remember what you said. More or less, you are an active listener. So for a person that is an active listener, I'm listening to respond. Yes. Like that's the whole point of the communication thing. Yes. You know, otherwise you could talk to Alexa. Well, no, she gonna answer you back too. You know, Alexa gonna get cut nah, out. Nah, you can talk to my <laughs> bitch. I said, don't say nothing about bitch. I can't say Alexa right now because she'll turn on. Hold on. Oh yeah, she'll turn on. Don't say that too loud. No, my bad. Too um, late. Too late. See, and you didn't ask for her to validate what you said. No, nope. no, I, 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 I just okay, I, 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 a, I said her name I, and she lit up just like you know most women. You know, I want to I want to find a solution to this because I really do. I really feel like as much as it's. One of those things that certain types of personalities aren't going to understand. There has to be a middle ground, right? Okay. So let's say your your woman comes in and she wants to vent. Would it make you feel better if before she starts, she goes, I just want to get this out. I don't really want you to say anything. Yeah, because then you could do what you're doing and I can continue chopping these goddamn tomatoes and getting. <laughs> you still got to listen. 
I am listening. But that don't mean I got to stop what I'm doing with my fucking hands. I got ears that they that my ears are not chopping tomatoes. But they want your undivided attention while they get No, because now out. you're wasting my fucking time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, now, so, so you don't want me to respond, but you want all of my fucking attention. I love it when this nigga get mad. I could be making fucking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Like, yeah, okay. Okay, dinner cool. Dinner will be done by the time they get, yeah. No, 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 no it, dinner will be 30 minutes late. Because I'm sitting here listening to, okay, you, I got you. You got me. I'm looking you right in your face. Okay, cool. Okay. But what do you think? Okay, my bad. I'm going to let you finish. No, no, no. I mean, okay. So all you're saying is you, don't, you just don't want to interrupt your process while she's talking. So like if you're you, cooking. If you, you don't want like, anything from me. Cooking, we're using a cooking example. You're, you're just doing your thing. She's next to you. She's venting. And you're hitting her with the like, uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, what I'm curious to know is, at that point, I feel like a female would be like, "I don't even think you're listening to me." <laughs> but you don't want me to respond. So what but the fuck? Yeah, you. I mean, if but if we can't respond, I'm listening, but I'm not like sitting there, like fully absorbing. So so so, so like, you want all of my attention, but none of what I have to say. That's my point. Every female's different. That's my point. <laughs> I'm trying to be diplomatic here. That's my point. You want all of my attention, but none of what I have to say. So I could be in the kitchen getting this, you know what I'm saying? Doing my thing, getting these fucking tacos ready and shit. But I can't do that now. I'm trying to get the taco bar set up. But nah, come sit down with me. I need you to look me in my, you know, I need, I need all your attention. But you don't want me to respond to what you're saying. All you want is a hug. Okay, I can still continue to do my thing, right? And then yeah. when I feel like it's a comfortable, there's been a good pregnant pause in what you're saying, I could put the knife down, go wipe my hands, and could put my, come put my arms around you and say, baby, it'll be okay. And like they told you in the post, it'll, and if that's, the, if that's the solution that they want, then you might have cleared her head for the day, and it might be a good time at the end of the night. Yeah, yeah. you might get some ass so you, you might get some ass quiet, it, yeah. You might get some. That's what one of the girls said. Yeah, right? like just, that, no, that's what they all said. Just, hey, if you be, just be quiet yeah, yeah. and listen. Be quiet and you can have some. Be quiet and listen. You'll get some pussy. Listen, you'll get some pussy and later. you can have some. So, so what do you want to do with your life? So it's like, what the fuck? Okay, so you, okay, so I'm trying to make us a beautiful dinner. But I have to stop that to actively not listen to you. <laughs> no, actively <while> listen. Listen. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Wow, listen, and here's the thing about it, like, they want you to remember the shit that, okay, so they want you to fucking listen, <laughs> not say shit, then, you know what's gonna come up three days later, and they're gonna be like, you know, Regina, I was tell telling you about the other day, I'm like, Regina, yeah, the bitch I was pissed, at, pissed off at about at work the other day, I'm like, oh, well, kinda, what you mean kinda, well, I wasn't really listening, why weren't you listening, because, because why? You don't want to know what I got to say about what the fuck you dealing with anyway. You don't care about what I have to say about your shit, which is a contradiction. Okay. And, because you well, want me to. That's that's why I, that's why I said earlier. Like the only problem I would have with it is if it comes up again. If it's something that you can just vent out. I've had bad days at work, and there's absolutely nothing she can do about the coworkers that I don't like. Right. And I just want to get it out. Right. But. I do know she's going to say something like and I mean something, but she doesn't like stare at me and then come hug me. Yeah, I would be like, what the fuck's happening right now? I th but that's a guy thing. I think it would feel weird. on That's, my end. that's the worst shit ever to me. But but I, I get the. The therapeutic nature of just getting it out. It's just as a guy, we can't compute the part where we don't try no. to fix the problem because because for me. I know I've heard those work stories and I'd be like, well, have you talked to this person? Have you, you know, and you, you try to come up with some sort of solution, even if it's necessarily not viable. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know that I cared enough to think about what you said and try to help you fix the issue. It, I think it's just a, a male female thing. It's a, it's a difference of how we handle shit. Now, I want to book in this with the female's opinion of what they basically said. This is what it boils down to, just because I don't want it to sound like it's all one sided. We dudes. I'm sorry. It's just how I feel. But. What a female said was after basically everything you just said, um, 
that's not at all what we're trying to say. And then she basically made a bunch of bullet points. Do not offer solutions. Do not try to fix it. Hmm. Just let her vent. Tell her you understand her feelings. Tell her you love her. Give her a hug. Maybe ask if she's okay. And then, dot, 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 let it go. That's got to be the most ridiculous shit. Man. Dude, you can't. It's a contradiction. You can't ask me. No, no, no. Fuck that. Not me. You can't ask a person. You can't want a person to feel emotionally fucking connected to you, to feel love for you, love for your well-being, wanting the best for you. And then you lay all this shit on them. Right. And this is male or female. I'm going to fuck who you are. Because me personally, I hate talking to somebody like I've had somebody ask me about deep shit i spill my guts out to them and i'm like yeah man give me like give me something like say something like what you got back oh i was i was, I was just, and of course it was a female that said this it, it was well, i was just letting you you know get it off your chest and say what you wanted to say and i got I'm, I'm like don't make me waste my time like that again and she says why i said because there's no way i would want to talk to you for that long that passionately about something's going on with me and then you not give me nothing back don't waste my fucking time i could talk to a wall and do that shit so for me <laughs> no seriously like I, you could go and talk inside of the goddamn bathroom to the shower curtain and say all that same shit and get the same result outside of a warm hug right so for me i'm like for a person if you want me to if you think I, if you want me to love you to be yeah. in love with you and you put that shit on me, it's it's re goddamn ridiculous to feel like I'm not gonna feel away enough to say something to you. Yeah, yeah. And and I ladies, I hope y'all understand, like he's actually and maybe this is just a difference between is like he's coming from a place of love. He's trying to say the reason he can't not respond is because he's invested in you. So why wouldn't he want to fix and help you it's, emotionally? It's crazy. That's all we're saying. That's literally all we're saying. I completely understand what you're saying, man. Hey, ne I'm just next time, you next time your girl calls you her, her tire flat, don't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's, it's, <laughs> and we hey, <laughs> hey, drive over, drive over to her. Give her a hug. Get out the car. <laughs> give her a hug. <laughs> <laughs> and get back in the yo, car. Yo, get back in the car. <laughs> like, yo, I thought you, you know what I'm saying? I thought you was calling me the vet. <laughs> you say don't fix nothing. I just wanted to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I thought you called me because it was hot outside. You want to vent about you having a flat tire and the heat was killing you. We're done here. I'm out, man. Yo, <laughs> I'm out. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Oh man, illegal quickies, y'all. We done. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> we out of here.